Hello, I'm Dave, and I'm afraid there's been some sad news. To people like us, who grew up at the same time as computer and video games did, the two most recognisable sidekicks in the whole world are Luigi and Tails. And both of them have been reported dead in the space of about a week. In the mid-80s, even though there'd only been two Super Mario Bros. games at that point, in an era which must feel to today's young gamers like a kind of black and white Laurel and Hardy land of the ancient alien past. The plumbers appeared regularly on our TV screens in the form of a kind of surreal live-action sitcom. In the show, Mario was portrayed by wrestler Lou Albano, in exactly the way you would expect an 80s wrestler to portray a character other than a wrestler. But to me, the star of the show was Danny Wells as Luigi, who approached the role with a bit of a vaudevillian twist and was actually good. I mean, before the Charles Martinet era, this guy owned the character of Luigi. He was Luigi, and Luigi was Danny Wells. And sadly, he died last week. An ironic finale to Nintendo's year-long celebration of Luigi the character's 30 years on this or some other mushroom earth. And the internet was sad. And then, in what my friend called a morbid and depressing show of support from the Sonic camp, another death was announced. The news seems to have started at Kotaku and spread from there. Christopher Evan Welsh was not a name as familiar to Sonic fans as Jaleel White or Long John Baldry until this week when it was announced that the voice of Tails had died. Christopher Welsh was the very first person to provide a voice for Tails in the Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog cartoon, and as far as I'm concerned, nobody since has been quite as well suited to the part. Christopher Welsh, his name seen here in the end credits, was Tails at a time when Tails mattered to me. I was a child, Sonic wasn't weird yet, and it hadn't yet crossed my mind to really think seriously about a time when either of those things would no longer be true. And now, here we are. I'm grown up and quite grouchy. Sonic's really weird now. And the voice of Tails. Lovely Tails! The Sonic sidekick who even the oldest and grouchiest of Sonic purists would happily allow to survive the long overdue culling of Sonic's friend roster. Tails, Tails, was dead. And for the second time in as many days, the internet was sad. But I was confused. I didn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. Not because I was too sad to deal with it, but because Christopher Evan Welsh, a Shakespearean actor otherwise known for roles in The Sopranos and Lincoln and all sorts of other things, had died at 48. The fact that anyone at all could be satisfied with this being true, while crediting him with the voice of Tails, baffled me because it's 2013, a clean 20 years, oh dear god, since the release of The Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. So you don't even have to be able to do maths to figure out that this would make him a fully grown man when he did the voice of Tails. Was I to believe then that this man, despite its themes that are kind of overarching uh, about honor, about the place of violence in society, said these lines at age 28. So I began to investigate. On IMDb, sure enough, Christopher Evan Welsh was credited with the voice of Tails, along with lots of other roles that it would make sense for him to have played. There were lots of Google hits for brief articles about his death, and many of them were on Sonic fan sites, commemorating the death of, yep, Tails. On Wikipedia, Welsh's page didn't mention Tails at all. Now, I recognise that Wikipedia isn't necessarily a source of objective truth, but it was exactly this fact that led me to think that something must be up. I mean, here was a Wikipedia page where it would be absolutely appropriate for Sonic fans to write paragraphs about Sonic the Hedgehog, and they hadn't. Other than that, information was difficult to come by, because most mentions of Welsh or the whole subject of who voiced Tails were either made on that day about the death, or had been edited that day to mention it. But then I found something that began to unravel the whole story for me. I found a page about Welsh and his part on the Sonic cartoon on the website Sonic Retro. I'd heard of this website. This is where the Sonic fans live who aren't in it to draw fan art or get all weird. They're in it to research. Their thing is unearthing fascinating little facts about the history of Sega and Sonic in particular. And along the way, they've become so good at that, that the rest of us have started to hear about it. It was them, for instance, who figured out that this sounded a lot like this, and started to realise that quite a bit of the music from Sonic 3 sounded interestingly similar to various other Michael Jackson tracks, leading to them tracking down a chap called Bradley Buxer, who, among other things, worked with Jackson on the Dangerous album, which was contemporary to Sonic 3, and he confirmed that the pair of them did do some work for Sonic 3, and if there was any remaining doubt, they then discovered that in 1982, just over ten years before the release of Sonic 3, Buxer wrote and performed a song that wasn't released at the time, was put onto YouTube a couple of years back, and goes like this. Yeah, 
In other words, if you're interested in Sonic trivia, it's probably worth keeping an eye on Sonic Retro. And they had a page on Christopher Welsh, and it looked like they'd had it for a while. The page listed him as having been born in 1982, making him 31 now, not 48, and making him 11 years old when he voiced Tails. It also claims that he had to bow out of doing a later cartoon special because he was going through puberty, and this would have been in around 1996. This version of Christopher Welsh being the voice of Tails was much more believable. So, is the voice of Tails dead, or isn't he? Someone is dead, and of course that's a tragedy for anyone who knew him. My guess was that there were two Christopher Welshes, one an established actor, the other a child voice actor who perhaps perhaps didn't work again after Sonic, and that IMDB had conflated the two, mistakenly assuming that every TV credit for Christopher Welsh must be the same Christopher Welsh. I've seen this happen before, it sometimes can on IMDB. And then whoever originated the news story about the death, Kotaku perhaps, maybe they have an app that tells them each day who's died on IMDB that day, and they reported it from there. All of which might mean that the voice of Tails is still alive. Or it might not. So, as it stands at the moment, Tails remains in a kind of quantum state of death and life, and until more information comes out, we won't know which one it is. What? Sorry? Kotaku have changed their story. And so has everyone else. And the whole thing's been sorted out between the time it took me to make this video and upload it. Ah! Do 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 do